Hey, Top Chefers, welcome to another episode of Top Chef Yay. Miami. Okay. Not for long. <laughs> no, they're in New York now. They made it across from New Jersey into Manhattan. Yeah. So, of course, we just want to mention the opening credits will never be tired never. of dealing with this. Na, 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 na. <laughs> yeah, that went on way too long, but Dale, we never tire of seeing you dance. And he's like, I'm just a big gay chef. And we love you as a big gay <gasps> chef. so funny. He's great. Love the mohawk, too. Well, what's the trip to New York City without going to the Cirque? It's been around for like a million years. Mm. Three locations. And yeah, Sirio Mascione was there. The founder, he's a legend <gasps> of Le Cirque. He's classy as all hell, too. <laughs> this so guy is crazy. They fed the chefs <laughs> a white sea bass wrapped in potato. With melted leeks. Yeah. And they don't even serve that shiz in the restaurant. It's for the VIP. Only. <laughs> Only. Mm -hmm. So they're all like chowing down, enjoying it. They're like, oh my god, this is so good. And then, <laughs> guess what guys? You gotta recreate this in 25 minutes. Go! <laughs> so they go one at a time. Into the kitchen. They could use whatever is in the kitchen. Well first they all went in together. Mm -hmm. And they each got to ask questions. Or a question. And when they went in there, the chefs in there who were actually like working were like staring at them like, who the hell do you think you are? Yeah, because they were like in the middle of a service. And we're from freaking New York, okay? <laughs> who the hell do you think you are? I mean the I chefs. Know, that has to do with it. <laughs> because, you know, New York's not the friendliest town in the world. Mm -hmm. but, um, I think it's pretty good, but... Anyway. Yeah. Hung was first, and he did excellent. Bravo, says Sir Sirio. <laughs> <laughs> then Brian was up next. No, you said. Oh, I'm sorry. Dale, Dale was up next. No seasoning. Not Dale. enough seasoning on the leeks. Too much seasoning in your dancing and not yeah. enough in your food. <laughs> Poor Dale. You know? Come on, that guy's got to catch a break sometime. Come on, Dale. If you get laid, the food will taste better, right? <laughs> <laughs> so then Brian's was. Good tasting, but it looked like hell. Look too good. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't wrap it right. Yeah, it was kind of like coming apart a little bit. Casey, oh, is this girl is better than any. <laughs> it looks. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sarah, ugh, mm. poor planning. It was raw. She didn't start cooking the actual sea bass until like six minutes left. So. Is no sushi. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so obviously the worst one was Sarah. Because that it was, was a no brainer. Yeah. Yeah. So it was uh, the top two were Hung and Casey. He, the judge was like, oh, I want to pick Casey for her good looks, but I'm going to mm. pick Hung. Yeah, I would too. I, I mean, Hung. I'd pick Hung. <laughs> okay, so see you at the elimination challenge where Hung's reward will be revealed. Yes. They went to the French Culinary Institute. Oh. And it is the last challenge before the final four, obviously. Well, before the finale. Right. They go to Aspen, so. Right. This is important. It's very important because final four is where you want to be. So they asked the deans and whatever. Founder, the, um, yeah. Culinary to create the ultimate test for the chef. And they did. Mm -hmm. They took a chicken. And a potato <laughs> and a yellow onion. And they said, make magic. <laughs> <laughs> Out of these simple ingredients, make something spectacular. Yes. So, yeah. They uh, gave them $200. Mm -hmm. They put them in a taxi and sent them over to the Union Square Green Market. Said, you got two hours to shop. Find something good. Oh, I'm sorry. No, One hour. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> One hour. Two hours is a day out. Hmm. One hour to shop. Two $200. hours for cooking. Yeah. But, right. oh, 
Hung's reward was he got an extra half hour to cook. So he got to start a half an hour early, I'm supposing, so... Yeah. yeah. I guess they were staggered anyway, because, you know, they're not all going to eat at once, so... But he got an extra half. So, Brian's planning on making a shepherd's pie. Yes. Peasanty food with, uh, I think he was going to spice it up with some sausage. Mm hmm And Sarah, <laughs> Miss Cheese Farm. She was talking about how if she won Top Chef, she would use the money to, like, make her own cheese thing. Right. So she was going to make a chicken fricassee with more couscous because oh. it went over so bad the last time. <laughs> I can respect that though. She wanted to prove that she could make one. Yep. Well, it was girls' day out for Casey and Dale. <laughs> they were like a uh, girlfriend shopping there. So, uh, and I can I love that because I'd love for he for him to be my best friend going shopping and stuff. That would be really cool. So Casey's going to make Coco Van, mm. just like her grandma used to make, or her mom. <laughs> and Dale was going balls to the walls, and he was going to do a duet of chicken. Right. One with a truffle flavor, and one with a rosemary flavor, with the onion and potato puree. Yes. And hung a sous vide, mm. which means get out the flavor seal thing, <laughs> put your chicken in there, and you're going to simmer it in the boiling bag with butter. Because nice. it's going to be tenderly delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, a potato thing, um, some kind of potato salad. It was like a ball thing. <laughs> Dauphin potato salad, I think it was. Yeah. So the people who are going to be eating the food were the deans and founder from the, culinary, the French Culinary Institute. Yep. Yeah. So, hung... Mixed review there. Well, there were some the very good, but then there were some that were like, eh, all right. Yeah, it yeah. It wasn't really anything too bad, though, except the potato wasn't as light as it was supposed to be. It wasn't as light and fluffy, but yeah. they really dug the crispy skin on the top, which I would, too. Mm -hmm. I wish I had some right now. Sarah's was just bad, bad, bad. <laughs> very, very bad. <laughs> the chicken was kind of raw. I don't know what it is with her in the rawness. Hey, Tiny. Puffy's back! Yay, Gail! Alright, I'm loving Puffy. Dale, in his haste, spent too much time with Casey and forgot to put his sauce out on the plate. Dale! That was like the connector. I know. And it was dry <laughs> without the sauce. Brian's looked like a big, <laughs> giant green turd on the plate. You know, like a uh, cow had diarrhea and no. just made a big green turd on the plate. But they liked it. They did. <laughs> they said it tasted... Better delicious. than it looked, yeah. <laughs> Casey's was just scrumptious. Scrumptious. <laughs> and the guest chef, Judge, which was one of the Frenchies, mm -hmm. said that uh, he would pick Hung as uh, his favorite. Yes, me too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the top three, of course, were Casey, Brian, and Hung. Mm hmm which means the bottom two are Dale and Sara. Ouch. So, Hung won. Yay. Good job, Hung. Uh, but WTF, where was his prize? I know. He didn't get a laptop like uh, yeah. Casey did. Come on, I want a MacBook Pro, too. Don't we all? Mm -hmm. So then it was down to Dale and Sara. <sighs> what is food to Dale? It's love. That's right. And what about to Sara? Get the job done. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay, so they really liked Dale's technique. No, they like. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they liked his technique, but they his thought concept his concept was, was, bad. was bad. And it was the opposite for Sarah. They uh, liked her concept, but not too good on the execution. So they were like, well, which one is more important? Which is the lesser of two evils, Dick or Danielle? Oh, sorry, wrong video. <laughs> Which is worse? Apparently it was Sarah because she had to pack her knives and go. Or as Padma would say, please, please pack, pack your knives, knives and go. And go. <laughs> okay, so, so final four. Break out the champagne. Yep. All right, we're going to Aspen, kids. So pack a bag. Next week we'll be on the plane to Aspen. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh... So we'll see you next Wednesday. 
for another episode of Top Chef, mm -hmm. the prelude to the finale. See you then. Much, Much love. love.